Hello and welcome back to part two of many, I guess part three of many, because it was, I think it was part one. Um, but this time with, with new guests. Uh, joining me today, I have Atira Kel and Darj. Uh, this is a 24-hour live stream that I've been doing, so if you are watching this uh, after the pact, in fact, re pre-recorded, um, uh, the, pre the recorded section, there is a entire video, a YouTube, uh, like, the repository of 24 hours of me streaming and talking with a bunch of different people. So if you need something that's like, I've got to get through a 16 hour shift, that's just half of, uh, of this, of this entire content. So you can, you can watch this for as this, these individual sections or that the whole 24 hours is up to you. Uh, with that all being said, let's introduce our two guests. We're going to start with Darj, Darjanator, the, uh, Prince of Pluto, um, uh, no. no, Emperor no, of Pluto. Emperor of Pluto. Emperor of Pluto. Emperor of Pluto. Get it right. <laughs> Emperor of Pluto and Prince of Uranus. Um, uh, Actually, we changed that to Eurectum. Just Eurectum. To get, just to get away from that. <laughs> to joke. get away from the joke. Uh, did you you heard that that NASA wants to want the public to name the next mission to to to, to Uranus? Right to Uranus. Worst mm. idea ever. That's a terrible idea. Worst the idea public. ever. I mean, I mean, are they going to just accept? Um, <laughs> The the suggestions as as a, as in a uh, springboard to to for for their own uh, naming or is it or is it the the winner gets the name the winner like, gets uh, to name uh, I think they like get to Bowie McBoatface I think they get oh, to yeah. I think they get the final decision but they get to decide which ones are the best ones so okay, like yeah. but it's like yeah I mean this has uh, got to be a controlled victory <laughs> yes right <laughs> yes uh, I'm sure some 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 young intern thought it was a great idea as a joke and to see if, uh, if they'll, they'll listen, but mm. so they, they have to know, they have to know they're nerds. They have to know what we, what we do. Uh, but Darj, who are you? What do you do in star citizen and where can they find you? Uh, hello. Yes, I am. Dorianator, and for some reason I have an accent now. Uh, <laughs> you're just letting your inner, uh, Slovenian. Slav. Yeah. yeah. My inner Slav. <laughs> just don't go um, squatting in the middle of this. Uh, in, no, this no, I actually, I don't, I, I, uh, I don't like to squat. Not the proper way. I don't like to squat the proper way. I squat on the balls of my feet, which makes me a Gopnik trader. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, no, but I am Darianator. I do things on the internet. I am also the current meme lord of the subreddit, the Star Citizen, not sanctioned, but at least acknowledged, I guess. Subreddit. Yeah. Um, you did no. the, the whole uh, always been... Oh, the, it all, always has been, yeah, remix, yeah, yeah that uh, some, somehow one of the remixes got more uploads than my original. <laughs> but, you know, um, the, uh, other than that, I hang out on shows like this with Paul. And uh, to answer Jen and Tonic's uh, question, no, I don't. He doesn't sleep. No. He doesn't know what the sleep is. Uh, Paul doesn't either. I, guess, I don't either. Mm. I, 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 it's I, not I, the time to sleep. We sleep I, after Citizen Gun. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a brief window of time between Citizen Con and, and IAE where you can sleep, but then but those two blocks are just no, you just you just it's it's make make content. That's this time, okay. uh, yeah. <laughs> and raise money because we're raising money for charity. Excellent, yeah. Uh, Atira, who are you? What do you do in Star Citizen? Where can they find you? Well, hello, I am Atira Kell. Uh, I am a active duty soldier, 21 years in, on my way to uh, hopefully retiring at 24. I <laughs> make YouTube videos. I talk about mostly uh, the military uh, component of Star Citizen. I have a series called A Soldier's Opinion uh, where I go in and I, I break down individual topics. I've been trying to work through uh, an EW video, but work has been solidly kicking me in the teeth and uh, family and everything else that's going on. Uh, like Tree, I'm a dad, so uh, that also takes a whole lot of my time. Uh, but you can find me on uh, youtube.com slash Kel, and we do uh, a lot of fantasy, survival, and, uh, and science fiction gaming. There, me and my friends. And then... Uh, I, I will take this opportunity to say uh, that Tree, we're hyping this up. Tree has got a uh, an announcement later when he comes on. I'm not sure when the first time he comes on, what time slot it is, but a, a pretty cool military focused announcement. I'm a part of it. There's a couple other people. It's going to be excellent. So stay tuned. Tune in for Tree for that announcement. It'll be great. Nice. 
Uh, I'm trying to fix it. I don't. I don't think it's a, a bar under Ethan's channel. Uh, no, it is. It was, there you go. Fixing. Yeah. There you go. I was. I was g- looking at you going through all the layers. Why don't you have those things locked, man? But anyway, uh, I do. I, I also That's the weird forgot part. a couple of things. That's locked. So yeah. yeah um, I, I forgot a couple of things. I, I I work for JRDF, and if you've been paying attention to the Citizen Gun page, there is uh, a contest right now uh, for you to make your own DIY star citizen ship and get. Uh, into the contest to possibly win one of the really cool prizes from us, which is, for instance, a uh, one to two hundred well. freelancer. Not finished, no. Uh, you know, Paul painted that himself. They don't come painted; they they come as kits, so they require assembly and painting by you, the winner. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think that's off. supposed to happen. <laughs> no, it, does. it is. It is. I, I don't bother yes. doing it because it's good. Because uh, that particular one has a an interior you can show off because it is like it it's like a matryoshka doll that just one thing slides into the other. So yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, that there is a there is a Carrick and there's oh god, what is it? A cyclone um, and and a couple of others. Yes, uh, also diorama uh, stuff which is like smaller, one to five hundred scale that basically don't require assembly, so you just get to paint them in the same scale. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's that's also what I do. Go to jrdf.se. Actually, I should update that page to link to the spectrum thread. Fuck. Yeah, I don't yeah. have to do that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we've got two things. We got a we got a we got a um, a, a tree um, is going to have an announcement, and then also we have the JRDF stuff coming coming up. Uh, I'm going to step step come step away for a few moments because I got to do something because my camera's doing its overheat thing because it's. Already anticipating right. it's going to be on for 24 hours. So, um, get a fan. Yeah, <sighs> eventually. Uh, yeah. But uh, I'm going to start with uh, Atira since you were the last person to introduce. I want to know what is your uh, your highlights from Citizen Con. So, what what, what oh. are the things? That, just pick out a couple of things that you think were the, like the stick out. Well, I mean, I thought the Spirit was a great addition because everyone thinks the Spirit's going to be a great addition. I got one. I got an A1. Uh, had to ask permission, but I got it. I think the uh, I, I think in general when I talk about military stuff, they because they mentioned uh, they're also going to allow us. They're going to create. Um, they mentioned size three bombs, and they mentioned, of course, the Spirit has size five bombs. So we're already dropping down into something more manageable, manageable that doesn't require a uh, you know a C one thirty to drop or mm. C seventeen to drop. So that's really mm-hmm. great. And then they, I think they also mentioned. Uh, stuff smaller than size three so now we're getting into the 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 area where the gladiator can become a bomber that it was designed to be and i think that's really cool so you can hang bombs on external racks and have multi-role fighters that can equip themselves for uh the mission that they want to do which i think is going to be really cool Uh, other than that though uh, i thought the master modes was a, a fascinating discussion uh and but i think my most and uh the thing i enjoyed the most was uh was not the skill stuff, which I think is a bit weird, but the uh, the power play. I thought the power play, I, I think that was probably the most interesting thing they talked about. Uh, they called it relay gameplay. I called it fused gameplay. But the idea of, of repairing, engineering gameplay, I know that uh, at least one of the guys in my, my channel uh, there in, in our uh, group Discord is obsessed with engineering gameplay, and it, it, it looked really good. So I think that's going to be, that, that was kind of the highlight for us. Awesome. Uh, Darsh, highlights. Right. Uh, highlights. Oh, n- everything non-military connected. Sorry, but that's that's just not what I'm about. Uh, I loved the uh, the new interaction stuff and the cool. FPS scanning. Um, quantum drive stuff? That's... I find it interesting. I need to go over it more. I'll talk about it in 12 hours. Yes, How about that? Darsh, Darsh is double dipping like Naz is, so... Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's go... Uh, but I wanted to do a more overarching thing. Like, actually, I did like the spirit. I'd probably get the E1 if it was slightly bigger to replace my 400i. Yeah, I, mean, uh, I think it's a great freelancer. Uh, uh, the shuttle. Uh, no, what's the? Ah, damn it. The Drake ship. Cutlass. Just, uh, Cutlass. Cutlass. I just had a huge brain fart. Oh, my gosh. It's yeah. a great competitor in that lineup. Yeah. 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 Uh, also, also uh, if you get it in white, you have to call it Nor- the Normandy. It's, it's it, it is the Normandy. It yeah, looks it like is. the Normandy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is. 
yeah. Uh, what I didn't like. Well, not yet. Not yet. Just what you like. Not we'll yet. Oh, not, oh, just what I liked. Oh, right. Yeah. Just what I liked. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, Jesus. I, if you take every segment as its own, I liked everything. Okay. But the most, mostly it is uh, the new interaction system. If I, if I interaction, the, 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 the on foot stuff, interaction, scanning, and mobile glass. I'm going to okay. go with that. That, that was, that was the highlights. Like, it's like the, the new updated, it's just like, yeah, yeah. I like everything, all the directions they're going with that. Okay. Let me go up because I, what I've been doing is in, um, because I'm going to be doing this for 24 hours. Um, Are you taking notes? I'm not taking notes. I'm I'm going instead of saying what I liked. I'm going through each section, so that I can I can say, talk about what I like for each one. I talked about planetary pyro ah. last time, so I'm talking about the investigations oh. one today for this one. So the mm. investigations. I think the investigations. I liked that they are showing us the the way the sausage is being made for that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I liked that they they showed us the process of how it was working. Um, and, uh, that they were seemingly very, very, very like specific about saying, we do not want to give players he- like heads up elements, like, mm-hmm. like, oh, well, we need to find out how this guy died. Here's all of those locations where you can find out where this guy died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Make what I, what, what I would like also is branching missions. We yes. got the, like the, the new one, this kind of an investigation mission, like the, the pride of Arles one. Yes. Once you yeah. do it once, it's the same thing. Same every time. mission. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, they they've talked about that in the past with branching. So like you'd be going I mean, and I think what they're gonna give us is FPS investigations, but then there's they're, they're gonna extend it because they've talked about that, right? Where you're cruising through space, you pick up a distress call, right? Do you answer yeah. or not? Right. And then that kicks off like a space level investigation. You scan the vessel, you do all the stuff, then you go in. I I do like the HUD stuff for like is something even interactable? Because, because, mm-hmm. so like you do that micro ping, and it just shows you here are the things you can touch in the game. Not here's where you go, and you're on rails, and you follow it from point A to point B. But once you figure out where you're supposed to go, you know some of the environments are just amazingly cluttered, and it's beautiful and glorious. But sometimes you're like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this room. Like there are thirty piles of trash. Mm. So, you know, having but a I, ping I would love, I would love for nice. everything to be interactable. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and you, you walk, that would be you walk cool. into an outpost. You walk into an outpost right now, and you see everywhere you have like just just all the things that you normally could interact with, just used as static props. You got like sure. black boxes, and you have water bottles everywhere, but they're just static props. Would love for that to be not a mission component, but just like you could move it from one table to another, even though it would yeah. be junk. The other yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think not... there's there's got to be room for that. But I think there's mm-hmm. some like core items. So when you walk into that outpost and there's racks and racks of boxes, I think you should be able to like steal all those boxes if you want to. Right. Yeah. I mean, cause, cause they're there. They're clearly something you could pick up. Uh, mm-hmm. And the guys, the guy's water bottle, that too, that makes sense. But like, t- uh, I thought the pen was a bit silly. Like you can pick up the pen. I'm like, what? <laughs> okay. Everybody has to buy one of those uh, writing boards for their computer now so that we can Take yeah. notes and sketch in game. Sketching in the game. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. you know what? I, I am one of those bonkers people who says I want MIDI controller support so people can plug in their guitars and play guitars in game. All right. That's that, you know. That would actually be pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, that, like, and then you can do like a scripted MIDI, uh, like in what was it? Uh, Mort, no, Mordhau? Was it Mordhau? Mordhau, yeah. And it was, it started, originally was from Lord of the Rings Online. Uh, right. They, they, yeah. Like so you you, you had a bard and you could just, and people just playing um, dra- uh, Dragon Force stuff. Yeah. On the Yeah. Because you could plug in a script and it would just play the play the play it for you the notes. with, the, with yeah. the notes on it. So, uh, one thing that the, the, I was on relay uh, while we were uh, um, as uh, for a watch party for this, and I yeah. mentioned before they started, I mentioned I don't want it to be just a data pad, like. Uh, search like Ooh. but then what they showed was basically just data pads search. however yeah look that yeah, mentioned that's true look, look yeah. that mentioned afterwards that you could use then the uh, the med tool to figure mm. out how somebody died for instance because right now you don't have 
there's no I thought that was cool yeah yeah there's there's no um distinction in a corpse whether they died from gunfire whether or fall damage or if they were you know beaten to death by a boreal stalker yeah which you know I was hoping to see, but you know. <laughs> well, the other thing is the other thing that I like about it was the 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 like how well you can like as the basic mission type how you could expand that. Like when I saw the underground sections and the fact that you could pull the the servers up from the cooling, my first thought was yeah. investigations. You get called in for a corporate investigation. There's a murder or someone stealing something down 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 below, so you have to like. Oh, you mean like uh, two years ago? Uh, uh, no, three years ago. Jesus. Yeah, that was the uh, the microtech demo, right? The microtech yeah, but demo. Just, but you had to sneak That's so into that funny. one. I'm talking about like you you get yeah. called in as a private investigator, and you go into there, and you have to like you go through the files, and you you like you find like oh what's this? This is weird, you know, and and having to like traverse around this big open space of of an underground facility to try to figure out who's stealing files, and then confront them, and then like chase them down, and like knock them out, mm -hmm. and tie them up, and that kind of stuff. Those sorts of missions are fun and interesting. Um, if they can uh, do them well and make them more dynamic. So, so like there's this seemed like it was a good, robust baseline. So mm -hmm. you, think you, you thought investigation. I thought sabotage. That too. <laughs> that was my first thought was yeah. I want to just input one corrupt file and then every missile that whatever's being produced, the missiles being produced in this facility now have like a, a, a 20% variance on their hit rate. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, and I'm just going to go with stealing everyone's porn. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's that ultimate data runner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, that's, that's what we like. And now I'm going to start with you, Darsh, on this. What did you not like about CitizenCon? What were some of your negatives about CitizenCon? <sighs> Lack of cohesion okay. in the entire presentation. Like mm -hmm. There was no overarching story or thread to go with it's basically just a bunch of very well produced isc segments that didn't really have anything to do with each other i think we got to um well used to the really good uh demos they have they showed at the front that would show a piece of the of everything they were going to go and then elaborate on with the uh extra segments but this was just here's you know, new quantum drive. Here's new Moby Glass. Here's an underground facility. Here's Hurston, and it was just, yeah, okay. But what can I do there? Like, like, show me, show me. Don't just talk about it. But you know, uh, I think they mentioned there was there was not going to be a big demo this this year around, and mm -hmm. it's I guess because of one stuff's not done to to a point where it can be uh, showed off like that, and two. They couldn't um, uh, take people and time away from squadron uh, development that would not uh, impact it in a major way. So understandable, but yeah, yeah. Uh, Atira, I, I think it's much the same. I think the the part that I enjoyed the least, and I know this is a controversial topic because we hear so little of him. But at the end with CR and kind of the rambling dialogue that we got, that was really hard for me to, to focus in and pay attention. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know it's good for him to come on and it's good for him to talk. And, and I, I know that loads and loads of people enjoy that, but I thought they, that, uh, you know, he, he's a talker mm -hmm. and when he gets going on his topic and but a lot of it's just repetitive. So it, it's okay though. That, that was kind of like the low point for me. Um, they they needed someone with cue cards so, off camera, just you know, just like keep it on track about this. Yeah, they needed yeah, Buster. Keep it on track. They, they needed yeah. Buster to to be to there. Buster so, Sump, yeah. Well, it was Buster, Buster is a, a like she does events. She does live events, and mm -hmm. I've talked with her about this. Is like, how would you handle Chris? And she's just like, I would have him on a headset, and I'd be like, shut up, Chris, move on, move on, move on, move on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, otherwise, I thought the content was. I, I guess I would have liked to have seen more. Like all the the AI cover searching stuff, I thought that was more interesting than the the eye candy of of oh, yeah. some of the other stuff, right? Like like here's some concept art for, or, or here, here's here here's where we are on the the, the pyro planets. Well, we've kind of seen all this before. You're just making it slightly prettier, and it is beautiful. But mm -hmm. I thought that like the AI stuff for having the guys look for you and 
I thought that was more interesting. I mean, I would rather them have said, and yes, we know the server tick rates don't allow for this type of high end uh, interaction with the AI. They're either they're either laser accurate or they just stand and look at you. But I thought that was very interesting, and that was kind of sprinkled in at the end with with CR. Yeah. I would uh, I, I would have enjoyed a a little bit more expansion on on where they're going with that. Yeah, I hope that once everything's done, is they do a big demo just connecting all these pieces. Like you start off in one of those underground facilities, and you get on the new Moby Glass, you get a priority mission, right? Mm -hmm. You you accept it, and then you take one of those big elevators out. You the, you know you take like a meandering uh, route through the underground facility to show it off. You take off in the spirit. You know, mm -hmm. get to your destination with the new quantum drive thing, mm. and then yeah. and then you have to, I don't know, uh, sneak into a outlaw uh, station. You showing off the new push and pull, and then the sneaking mechanic. You know, as the uh, AI is looking for you, and then the inter interaction uh, stuff to solve the mission that you were sent on. You know, this this kind of thread. I really wish we had that. That would have like the the wall factor. Th context. That's what was missing. You're saying context, the context and the yes. the, the presentation. Okay. Yeah, the, yeah. The wow, the wow, the wow bit was missing this this time around. Um, I'm not going to talk about that, but I will. I, I I'm just going to generally say because I'm going to talk about that later, which is I generally agree that I I don't necessarily say I want less Chris. It's not that case. Not the case. I no. like Chris Roberts. Yeah. I think it's fine. It's just. It could have been an email. <laughs> that's 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 yeah. the feel I got with it. It's like this could have been done in ten minute segments by uh, a pre recorded with uh, someone who, you know, because someone's going to do it. Space yeah. Tomato or um, uh, Board Gamer or uh, someone is going to uh, cut it up, compress it, small segments, and g yeah. give you the, the give you the brief. All you got to know, and then the whole thing that two hour section into 10 minutes mm. um so it's gonna happen and, all, and also they dropped one of the biggest updates to how the game is going to be played into oh by the way in the last 10 minutes of the entire thing yeah uh, and i get why <laughs> i get why they had to they had to go on laboriously and i said this in the last video which is just that there are some people kotaku and, and and those sorts of those sorts of groups and also people who will literally dissect everything they say so if they don't absolutely go into detail about everything they're doing and explain the context. Caveat. Going, yeah. They yeah. Have, they yeah. have to, because someone is going to take them out of context and scream about it. So, yeah. So, uh, all right. Uh, I will go on about what I didn't like about the, um, the investigations one, because I'm okay. going this okay. kind of a panel and Scroll I will say, my notes. so investigations, I didn't like that. This was just a pitch meeting. <laughs> it's like it, this could have this yeah. could have easily been a great Star Citizen Live. This is a perfect Star Citizen Live. Um, mm. Sit there, go through the process of them getting the investigations mission, and then uh, at the end of that that process, you you take you ask questions, you get the, the chat to give you uh, a, a sample mission, like you write down sample things and you, that sort of thing, like like they did with the um, with the fire rats uh, for Pyro, like. This perfect little little bang, bing bang bong. You're done. Hour in, you're good. But it was a uh, instead. It was this or a small segment on an ISC. Instead, it was uh, this effectively peek behind the the, the glass of like, but where, where could we see it? <laughs> Can we mm. see what this looks like? Oh, it's not ready yet. This is just this is just talk. Okay, why is it at CitizenCon and not like an ISC? So yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm it, guessing just that that is the reason they don't have the manpower or the time to create a bespoke demo for Citizen Gun. They yeah. just took yeah. whatever was in a presentable state and made a video about it. Yeah. It's not and bad. One one of the, one of the guys in my chat was like, "Hey, we have investigation already." Right? Yeah. Like the the tier 0. So what are we what are we changing? And they could have just adapted the existing missions for wanted PI into something with a little bit more detail mm -hmm. and then showed us that. I think it would have been fine. Yeah. Um, 
And they did, and, and this chat saying, they did explain it was super early. And I get that. Yeah. This is more of a critique for, not on the people who were doing the presentation, but for oh, assemb- yeah. this assembled presentation. You know, the, the, the media yeah. team who assembled the presentation. It's not a bad idea, but I think mm-hmm. it would have worked better in a different context. It wouldn't. I wouldn't do this in a live Citizen Con. That would be a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah. I thought the uh, the ship name Summer Rain investigate the Summer Rain. That was yeah. a great ship name. Where do I know that from? Where did I know that I, name from? I don't know, but it's uh, a beautiful name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did think the, the the most interesting pseudo weird thing that they said in that was the writing is the hard part, right? Writing these 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 plots out is the hard part for these because so they because they don't want them to be different. And all I thought in the back of my head was you have an entire lore team. Four, five people who are to- lore team, but they ju- and they but just hired a new sure. person. But like, I mean, you have people whose job it is to to write this stuff for you. I mean, there is so much lore they could like take and do a sprint on you know five mm. or six good things. Plus, you know, there are plenty of uh, available real world detective stories, right? Like detective, mm-hmm. like crime stories that you could pull from that are real. And adapt them into the game. You don't have to write the story. Humanity has given you the story. Just go to so have, have have somebody pull some of these the, the concepts out and just frame it around and put it in. Yeah. All right. You, yeah. If you're taking the concepts, yeah, but actually just taking a story and just changing the names and locations. Like the, no, 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 no. Get, the, yeah. the, 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 the story about like here's a great example. There's this great story that's it's repeated often naval, naval um, like spoopy kind of, especially this time of year, about three lighthouse men, and I think in northern England, who went to the um, uh, this white house, the white house, this lighthouse to take care of it, and um, they uh, someone after a storm, someone came to check up on them, and they were gone. There's no bones. There's no bodies. They were gone. And like it looked like the whole place was they had set food for dinner. Like it was just they they left in a hurry. The dock was smashed. And that whole thing is 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 still a mystery today, though. Most people kind of get, gathered what it would be, which which happened was that the storm was happening and they forgot to, they forgot to secure something. So they went to go secure it. Someone fell off the rock, got got trapped in the water. Another person went out to go help him. Um, but they, that would they, be amazing. Uh, that kind of yeah. thing. And that's something like yeah. that is a great story. And it's <laughs> outpost in the middle of nowhere. It should have been staffed. No one's there. Then you see, you see the story of like a sandstorm coming in and, and you have that story where you piece together these, these like notes or an audio log and boom, bam, boom. It's a story right there that, that story. already exists. It's easy to adapt into, into a star citizen environment. And I say that's what you're saying. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Mm. Did you see this comment in the chat? It said, do you feel instead of doing investigation missions, they should do data running missions? Eh, kind of. Um, let's see. Uh, so we have question, question. many ships in game. Or, well, yeah, we have a few. Four well, data running with no purpose. Let's yes. tackle that question during the question and answer session because he was asking okay, it for cool, yeah. question and answer stuff. So, um, all right. So we've talked about the goods, the bads. Uh, I'm going to start with you on this one, uh, um, Kel. Um what are you looking forward to between now and the end of the year? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, for me, and it's it's not tied to CitizenCon because they didn't talk about it. I'm looking forward to Salvage. Salvage. Uh, yeah. So I have it, a. It doesn't have vul- to be tied to CitizenCon. It just. It just yeah, I have a Vulture. I've I've had it for quite a while. I'm looking forward to it. I I always thought that that. Of all the in- industrial game mechanics, I thought that would be the most fun. Uh, you know, pulling components, and hopefully, if you pull good components, you can keep and reuse them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, and all these these little things. Um, so, yeah, for for me, it's it's salvage. Yeah. Dash. Is there anything else of major coming other than persistent entity streaming that's uh, that's as impactful as salvage? Uh, cargo refactor. Yeah, but mm. but cargo refactor is coming as a hello car. Uh, cargo <laughs> refactor is coming as a tier zero, uh, which is well, or is this a tier one? But it's going to have parity with what we have right now. There's not going to be any yeah. extra features added on. So it, it'll basically just be instead of the cargo that you load in via the uh, kiosk in your ship isn't going to be uh it could be like a big block of immovable geometry it's going to be individual pieces uh, Prince, containers yeah. that you could yeah that you can move we've had but we already have 
individual containers that you could move and put into your ship. Yeah, it's so just it's, now it's the you're also it's, other it's, things. This, this, so. The two systems are connected now, and they're going to be building on top of that. But I don't think that's uh, that is coming. Any of that is coming until the end of the year. True. Yeah, Anything salvage. Else? Salvage. salvage time time to penis come on let's go <laughs> um <laughs> i i'm looking forward to whatever tony is planning on revealing to us you think because, he's got a big reveal because tony they said it, they said it in the uh, thing that tony is desperately trying to cram something into 318 the last moment that's related to quanta mm. so i'm like oh i missed that yeah okay. that would be cool that, that would be interesting. If they, if, they, if they said any of that at, uh, at the end, I was getting a bit too, too drunk. Yeah, they said, they, they said <laughs> it at the end. Um, yeah. I, I I wouldn't be surprised if it's the things that they they took from three uh, from three twenty or from three from three eighteen um, that they, they they were originally going to be, and then they pulled it out. I think I think Tony's trying to get that stuff done, which is like the the inter uh, uh, like the, the the dynamic when you get intercepted and in. in uh, in there to kind of like it's more of a dynamically oh right okay so it's so, so probability volumes for getting intercepted by uh, either by law or outlaws yeah yeah and i guess and and that's they shouldn't say outlaws criminals that, that's that likely outlaw yeah yeah outlaw not, well outlaw because it just means you live outside of the law so yeah yeah but uh, i criminals well, can if, be outlaws if, but not if, all, if, all outlaws are criminals yeah true true if if you are if a normal person is allowed to kill a person then they are an outlaw yeah yeah mm. they live without you know the, the whole the whole dead or alive thing those were outlaws because if you killed someone then you wouldn't be prosecuted for murdering them yeah i, yeah. I think so i think it's what it works yeah it's an old yeah. english thing so mm. um but yeah I, I i'm i'm definitely interested i said also pes i think pes is a is a big deal that's um, going to you sure. will, you will yeah. stop noticing that servers are crashing because stuff will be there still. Yeah, it'll stop mattering as much. I think. I think mm. it's it's it, for me. It's more of the I'm looking forward to it because it's done. It's in. Don't have to worry about it. Kind of thing. Right. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I we 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 kind of slimmed this down to about thirty minutes. So we're pretty good. Ooh. Uh. And any final thoughts on on Citizen Con or the end of this year as a whole? I'll start with you, Darsh. Oh, the Citizen Con! I love the the set. That was set. so good. Yeah, no. and the screen the screen behind <laughs> it that was showing different things. Uh, and they, if you notice, they also um, recorded all the Talking Head segments. On the same set. Of, yeah, uh, in front of that uh, window. Yeah, um, and I guess I wonder how many people noticed the uh, the wonderfully painted JRDF models that he had on the desk. So yeah. that, 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 that nice. they kept that, that they kept trying to pick up and and, yeah. and oh. <laughs> it's just like no. When he put that that dragonfly in that guy's face, I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on right now? <laughs> uh, <laughs> those were those were, uh, those were uh, jared's personal ones so yeah. he painted him himself no no he hates painting and assembling so Who painted he painted it for him he had it done by i think it professional was, yeah by someone professional yeah because they are they, they they they're really really well done and they're the official mm -hmm. skins so yeah yeah the are they official skins? Mm -hmm. okay sure, nice yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and um, the arrow is basically just the stock skin that came with it so yeah atira your uh, your thoughts uh, I just wanted to, I'll just say that, so from the, the new underground segment, the, the first thought that came into my mind when they started talking about this was, please have something that is completely invisible from the air. Uh, so I, I really enjoyed the new underground segment. I thought that that, I, I enjoy bunker missions. I enjoy all of that. I greatly look forward to larger uh mission sets that that take you deeper and deeper underground into these facilities but remember he said that was the medium set by the way all we saw yeah, there yeah, was yeah. the medium which is nuts <laughs> which is nuts <laughs> which is crazy but that, that but, was amazing but take, yeah. one, take one of those fly-in caves yeah give us a fly-in cave and then have the entrance down there yeah right so like either you have to land on top and somehow jetpack repel whatever you want to call it down or you have to land and you know maybe there are no defenses maybe it's hidden and that's the defense but but the idea being that you know maybe there's now that we have we're going to eventually have ground mesh maybe there's just guards on the outside with with the uh, the turrets 
but um but give us a reason to go into those underground caves like the flying caves without it being just to go mine or do whatever like i just yeah, i yeah, think yeah, that yeah, would be yeah. cool uh you know or if you go into one and you don't know and you stumble upon a door and then that's oh oh like, like a, in a the whole forest. thing yeah yeah and yeah yes and you stumble upon a door that takes you into one of these compounds and now you're like oh shit oh yeah, yeah. let's go you know that oh god so exciting Especially with like Sense of multi multiple entrances <laughs> to facilities too, like like a like a this it breaches out into like a natural cave system and that kind of thing. Yeah, I love that idea. yeah. yeah the, the only thing that I thought was weird on that was like in an industrial sense, I don't think you would have multiple entrances and exits for your large forty foot containers. Yeah. Right. So they were like, "You're gonna have to take cargo out, maybe the back door." Uh, no, no. You, like, you got okay, the you, you got the cargo elevator, and then you have personal uh, exits mm, and stuff yeah. Like right. That, so yeah. personal exits, sure, you might be able to infiltrate from a, yeah. a secondary tertiary exit, but you're gonna have to go out the front door if your job is to steal a forty foot container or or some big cargo crate, because you're mm. gonna have to use those freight elevators to get it up. Yes. But that's fun because you can use one of their cool cranes to put it on a mule and then somebody's got to drive the mule and the mule doesn't have guns. That means somebody else has to be like fighting along beside you to, to yeah. get you out. And I think that's, that's good times. That's like the, uh, gosh, it, escort missions from, uh, I don't know, any number of games, any but I, games. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that would be, uh, there's a lot of potential in the, those underground facilities. I thought that was cool. My, my mm. only thought when I saw when I thought about that was, um, uh, when I saw I saw the hover tech, my thought was, you know, there's going to be a mission in Squadron where like you have to push the uh, the thing, or someone's pushing the, the hover thing, and you're gonna have to defend them while they're while you're pushing that around. Ooh, the same kind yeah. of idea, same yeah. kind of idea. Like 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 you're gonna have to like you're gonna have to <laughs> exfil carrying a crate on the back of a, of a vehicle that's not a ve military vehicle that has no guns on it yep. and while under fire enjoy while that fire. <laughs> what, what i what i liked about the uh, underground facilities the most is that uh it showed that even though like humanity is this huge industrialized nation they still nature still takes precedent because most of those things were in caves yeah. they were not just holes in the ground dressed like we have with the underground facilities now, which is basically just rooms that are under the um, under the surface of a moon or a planet. But they did they were give just... us a new ship concept. Yeah. The boring machine. Yes. yes. Also, ship, also, ship concept right there. We're going to bore out our own <laughs> underground bases. Also, the mule uh, crane. The mule crane. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I, I will say the other thing is, is Star Citizen has no Fs to give on OSHA violations. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm, no stairs for emergency exits. There's no, no, no guardrails. No guardrails. Yeah. I was like, this place is a death trap. And they showed the, uh, the, 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 the cutty that was docked on the, the clamps yeah. above. <laughs> it's just a ramp down. Nothing else. Like, <laughs> I hope you don't get a stiff wind and you're just off the side of the ramp into the, <laughs> into the blue because there's nothing to protect you. Oh, uh, it was it was quite amusing. I was like, we got to push some OSHA. Uh, we need some stairs, right? I, when I, you... I wonder. I wonder if landings <laughs> for those are going to be uh, helped with ground based tractor beams, so they they just help help grab yeah. onto you and then gently lower lower you gently onto the uh, landing pad instead of having yeah. to rely on some you know bozo that has had like his pilot license for the, for only two weeks to you know to navigate I mean, I think the they'll landing use pad that's the barely bigger mechanic. than the ship it's well, they use the docking yeah, yeah, mechanic yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but then the, <laughs> that, that autopilot could still malfunction i think i think oh, that, yeah. yeah just because <laughs> you know bust a chip I, I will. Oh, oh, that's the last thing I was going to say um, this year. So far, your 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 interpretation, because I asked this before as well. I'll ask this again. Um, I'll start with you on this one, Kel. What would you put this year as? Is it good? Is it average? Is it bad? Is it the best year we've ever had? The worst year we've had? What would you say so far this year as um, uh, as a game or as CitizenCon as well? Like, like what what is your thoughts? Man, well, wow. loaded question because everybody has a different opinion. <laughs> yes. I, I I thought it was above average. It wasn't great, mm -hmm. but it was above average. I think, for instance, last night, right after CitizenCon, right? 
after Citizen Con, after IAE, you typically have really a lot of people come back to the game. They try things out. They want to play, right? And then they'll trickle off after. We got on. There was no issue. The servers didn't crash. We drove around in the new STV. Uh, we had a great time. And then we logged off safely. And, you know, we don't always get that experience. Mm-hmm. So I think from that perspective, I think they've done a great job Uh you know, again, above average job, I guess I'll say for, for getting the servers and in, into a better place, we saw a huge population jump on the servers. Oh God. Yeah. All right. I mean, we went from 50 to 110 as of last night, which and, is and, great. And Chris's numbers about concurrent players and daily peaks is like, what? 50K. When did that happen? Yeah. 50K. When did that happen? Or is it 30K or 50K? I can't remember which no, one. No, 50, 50, 50, 50K average with over 100,000 co- uh, peak concurrent. It was 130. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. So, so I think above average, right? I mean, I don't think we got a lot of super great content mm-hmm. uh, necessarily, but I, I, at least it didn't affect me per se. But, but I think playability, I think stability, and, and, and also just server cap increases have made it a lot easier to play and a lot more fun. So yeah, I thought it was above average. Okay. I'll give it a six. I'll give it a six, six or seven. Six or seven. Yeah. I, I, would, <laughs> I would say give it a seven primarily because all the things they showed like, like speed of development ebbs and flows, but citizen con has a specific date. So they had to show what they, what they could show instead of mm-hmm. what they wanted to show. So if, if, if some of those features were built up more, if they had a demo to go along with it, I would, Probably say it probably one of the best citizen the citizen cons ever, but yeah, it is what it is. It's still still good. I would say seven seven and a half. Yeah, I, I would say for this year as well, it's a good solid seven, and I say, say for citizen cons, a good solid seven. We've we've probably got more concrete information out of this citizen con than we've had in many previous citizen cons, mm-hmm. um, and the whole. The only thing I can say is that two hour, that two hour long Chris, Chris and Richard, um, Richard Tire, I think was his name. Uh, Rich Tire. 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 Yeah. Um, they they can talk. <laughs> they can talk. <laughs> but I mean, um, they, their focus was everything 4.0. Fo- yeah. 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 I mean, I, I, because they're so focused on 4.0 and rightfully so, yeah. uh, what they were talking about were the things they're specifically working on to get us there. So that makes it very good good information um you know they weren't theory crafting per se right to tell us where they want to go they're saying this is where we're pointed right now and i think that's why it was good information yeah Ooh, all right you can't start good. yawning now uh, yes i <laughs> have to i i am i am not going to take any caffeine until i'm 12 hours in because that's, oh, okay. that's just a terrible idea Ooh. so because <laughs> yeah. I I need I need just to like not crash at after yeah. a little bit, so I just got to keep yeah. getting the sleepies I'll, yeah, off. I'll, when, when I come back, I'll be uh, freshly shaved and with a monster in hand. So. There we go. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. If you're watching this after the cat fact, like I said, there's a 24 hour version of this on on the uh, the playlist. Uh, I'll have an entire playlist of the, of, the, of all of these. Uh, which will this will be at the top um, on YouTube. Uh, but we also have these individual sections because I know not everyone's going to sit there and watch for 24 hours. So stick around if you're watching this on Twitch and YouTube uh, live because we'll be moving on to the question and answer sessions. For those of you who are on YouTube, uh, the questions are going to be, yeah, I'll do my best to answer your questions as well if I can. Um, but it's mostly on uh, on Twitch because I have like a system set up there. So that's what it was. Uh, all right. With that all being said, I like uh, make sure you are following Atir Kel on YouTube. Make sure you are checking out jrdf.sc um, uh, for, for Darge. Yeah, and darinator.com. And darinator.com for all of his other content. Um, and uh, like I say every time, hope to see you someday in the black.